water clarity continues to improve. For some reason, I still can't see to the bottom, but the top half gets clearer and clearer, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to continue with the bucket method. I clean them out about once a week, rinse them in clean pond water. But I am seeing a little bit lower on that arch. Not a lot, but like I said, that top layer of the water gets clearer and clearer. So I'm hoping that it'll continue to clear up towards the bottom as time passes by. Just gotta be patient. Well, I try, I'm trying to perfect my filters as best as possible. So as you can see, all that muck is staying on top of the filter. So we don't want it to do that. We want it to settle down to the bottom. So I'm going to remove or replace the last of the polyfill that I have in here. I'm going to put some, run some pond water through the filter, empty out this gunk, and I'm going to remove the bio balls from the bags because, you know, I realized this is trapping all the gunk in there and these are meant to be flowing free. You know, Laz reminded me of that. So I'm going to go ahead and remove them all, rinse it one more time, replace the polyfill, at least until I run out of what I've already bought. And that should give me a better filtration system. Overtopped the pond considerably over flooded it actually this week so I figured it was the best time to do this so I am running I'm removing these from in here as I go I'm uncovering more muck running pond water through it and putting my bio balls over here to put them get them out of the containers and get them ready to be rinsed and put back in there loosely so pour the water up through here Oh, that flushes everything through this hose to my garden. There's all the dirty, mucky water coming out. I'm going to give these a quick rinse. You see how they have stuff growing on them already? It's a good thing we want all that to get to stay on there. I'm going to just run, run a bunch of pond water through them, take them to a planner and just run the pond water through them. I was going to pressure wash them, but I do not want to remove all of that beneficial bacteria that they're building up. It is harder. I Technically, we're supposed to be cleaning the filters about once a year. I still haven't gotten to the point where I have my filter media where it needs to be. Um, I'm getting there, but I'm getting there. I need to buy more bio balls, so I'm just slowly doing that and removing the thicker filter media from inside of my filters. Now that I'm removing the last of it, I will hopefully see more of, of a clarity and I will continue to do the mechanical filtration with the buckets even if I have to clean them a little more often it'll be worth it once I get it where I need it the maintenance should be very minimal as it is now it's not too bad every six months I've been cleaning the filters but now with this new um, way or setup that I'm gonna have I think I, I should be okay because every time I backwash the filter now the bio balls will rinse themselves out and I won't have to be doing this but once a year and since I removed the polyfill from the filters I will continue the mechanical filtration in my little bucket with the media and my polyfill inside of these small sacks it will be a lot easier to clean this way and I won't suffocate my filters with it.
less maintenance this way. Because we want the filters to be free flowing and that nothing obstructs them, I'm going to put my crushed coral directly inside the pond, right underneath the waterfalls. So there's always water movement and oxygen going through the crushed coral so it helps decompose it. Instead of putting it in my filters, they will just sit at the bottom of the pond by the waterfalls and I will attach this to the edge so I can find them easier whenever I need to do any kind of maintenance to it. So I decided the smartest way to do it after a few attempts to rinse these with the pond water would be to put them back in the filter and run the pond water through them since I still have it to drain. This is a lot easier. There it is. Beautiful. There it is. Filter done. Nothing in there but bio balls and this barley sack of barley free flowing it already seems like it's just gonna be a better 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 system bacteria already closed the outlet chlorinator now I will resume the water flow to the filter and it's done so apparently I did this one different and I just threw the crushed coral in there so no big deal, I'm just gonna take all these, empty them out into here, do this filter a little different, and then just wash it, rinse it with pond water, and we'll be good to go. I've already removed all the other stuff I had in stockings that will not be going back in. I will probably tie those and do the same and attach them underneath the waterfalls, just so we don't lose, number one, the beneficial bacteria, number two, we don't lose the crushed coral. Uh, crushed coral raises the pond pH. I have very hard water here, so that helps um, balance my pH 